Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramam Supra Graja Kacharya Sutra Sattva Sri Srimad Founder of His Kindness Divine Loving Grace Asi Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Vayaka Prema Dham Ki Jai His Holiness Guru Maharaj Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj Ki Jai Sama Veda Bhaktivinda Ki Jai Gaur Premanandi And a big Hari Bol three times to Radha Jeevan Gopal Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol the louder you yell, the more likely maybe he'll stay with us and continue to take care of the cow. So just one more time for good measure. He's a big part of how the farm appears today. It wasn't just the last week, but many months and years of effort. He put in the fence. He did a lot of adjustments to the cow pasture and established a nice care for the cows. Today, or a few days ago, happens to be his birthday. And he's been traveling with Gumraj. Uh, during his stay here in the U.S., so we wanted to take a moment on the special occasion to appreciate Radha Jeevan Gopal. I think all day long is his birthday also. Yes, very much. A couple of days ago was his birthday. Krishna Vadaya. Krishna Krishna Tibedanta Swami Nitinami Namaste Sarasati Deve Goravani Prachanine Nivitesa Sanavadi Asatya Deshatanine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Gurvadi Gohata Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so this is my first visit to this Little farm. So this is my first visit to this little farm. Beautiful farm. Beautiful farm. <laughs> <laughs> Very grateful. Whoever did all the nice decorations. Very grateful whoever did all the nice decorations. <laughs> well, Adi Gopi and Van Viharni, and they usually have a multitude of helpers. Raise your hand if you helped with the decorations on some level. Hari, Hari, Thank you. Thank you uh, to Devo Mano and all his team for this wonderful uh, ecological abroad. Thanks to everyone for tolerating Devo Madhava long enough that Guru Maharaj came <laughs> to this wonderful ecological abode. And uh, a very healthy the part of the uh, the uh, the uh, rikrama, and I'm very happy to be a part of the parikrama. Hariva. Hariva. Although this is my first visit to the farm, but I was on rikrama more than fifty times. <laughs> it was my first visit to the farm, but I've been on parikrama more than fifty times. 
It's not. It was very nice because we were reliving the uh, Parikrama. So it was very nice to be reliving the Parikrama. The Navadip Dham, Mayapur Dham, is known as the Odarya Dham. The Mayapur Dham, Navadvi Dham, is known as the Odarya Dham. It's the land of Lord of Mercy. Means the land, the abode of mercy. Now, where you done as Aishwarya Dham, the land of opulence. Puri is known as Aishwarya Dham, the land of opulence. And uh, Vrindavan is known as Madhurya Dham. And Vrindavan is known as Madhurya Dham. The land of sweetness. The land of sweetness. And so that each island, each land, each dam has some particular name. So like that, each dam has some particular name. And uh, we are today celebrating the nine islands of Navadvip Dam. And today in our Parikrama, we celebrated the nine islands of Navadvip Dam. And Navadvip uh, Dam. So everybody doing kirtan. We went to Godrum Dweep and saw everyone doing kirtan. That's the island of kirtan. That's the island of kirtan. And uh, like that, each island is connected to a uh, a uh, aspect of devotional service. Like that, each island is connected to an aspect of devotional service. Activities of devotional service. The nine activities of devotional service. The idea was that this whole material world is like a, in one sense it's a prison house. The idea is that this whole material world is like, in one sense, a prison house. But Krishna he gives us an opportunity. To fulfill our desires. Krishna, he gives us an opportunity to fulfill our desires. And uh, so he, to make a level playing field, he gives the law of karma. So to make a level playing field, he gives the law of karma. He gives people as human beings an up, they get free will. He gives people from the species of humans an up, free will. The animals are without humans. Uh, they follow their instinct. They don't have karma. The animals who are below humans, they just follow their instinct. They don't get karma. So, we're actually a living force in the body. So we are actually the living force in the body. Uh, Prajapat killed Prabhupada and uh, he went to a uh, village on the border of Bangladesh. I was present with Srila Prabhupada and he went to a village on the border of Bangladesh. Known as Haridas Pur. The village is known as Haridas Pur. Because Haridas Thakur spent 24 hours there. Because Haridas Thakur spent 24 hours there. <coughs> so, Ah, oh, we have a temple there. At that time we had nothing there. So now we have a temple there, but at that time when Srila Prabhupada visited, we had nothing there. And then uh, he explained and say someone in the village, a grandfather, all gentleman, he did. So he explained that say there's an older gentleman, a grandfather in the village, and he's dead. And someone's crying. My grandfather is gone. Someone is crying. My grandfather, he's gone. Someone is, my husband is gone. Someone else is thinking of that person. My husband is gone. Someone think my father is gone. Someone else is seeing that their father has gone. Everyone's crying. He's gone. So everyone's crying. He's gone. But Prophet asks, what is gone? What has gone? But Prabhupada asked, where has he gone? What has gone? What has gone? What has gone? 
What has gone? The body is still there. The body is still there. The hair, the head, the hands, are you there? The hair, the head, the hands, it's all still there. What is that? So what has gone? Why is everybody crying? Say gone, he's gone. Why is everyone crying saying he's gone? He's gone. So that's the point. We should understand. We're not the body. So that's the point. We should understand that we're not the body. Body is beautiful because the Atma or the living force is in the body. The body is beautiful because the Atma or the living force is in the body. Once the, the spirit saw a living force leave the body, no longer beautiful. Once that spirit soul, the living force, leaves the body, it's no longer beautiful. You have to bury it or burn it or somehow you have to get rid of it quick before it decomposes. You have to bury it or burn it or somehow get rid of it quick before it begins to decompose. So, everyone here are actually a spirit soul. So everyone here is actually a spirit soul. Yeah. Making the body alive. Machine of material energy. You are making your body alive. Your body is a machine of the material energy. Once you leave the body, it's no longer beautiful. Once you leave the body, then it's no longer beautiful. You are the soul. You are the soul. But it's not that you're a soul. You're a body and you have a soul. You are the soul, you have a body. So it's not that you're a body and you have a soul. You are a soul and you have a body. So, this is a amazing thing. Very simple, but somehow it's not understood by most people. So this is a very amazing thing, which is also simple. But somehow it's not understood by many people. And most people, or a million people, one is actually interested in spiritual life. Amongst most people, you may have a million, and only one is interested in spiritual life. And out of a million who are interested, one actually gets liberation. And out of one, in the million who's interested in spiritual life, one of them may get liberation. Out of a million of muktas, first, ordinary people, gyanis, muktas, out of a million liberated, it's rare to find one liberated. And then out of a million of those who are liberated, gyan muktas, it's rare to find even one pure devotee. Uh, you're all, I think, I practice saying bhakti yoga. So you're all, I think, practicing bhakti yoga. That's to your credit. That's to your credit. That was what Lord Chaitanya came. And normally people who uh, get the right in are the very, the very high learn culture people. That's why Lord Chaitanya came, because ordinarily those who get liberated, they're very high-born, cultured people. But actually, he came, and he told Lord Nityananda that he would come to preach, to help, to liberate the four kinds of people who normally don't get liberation. But Lord Chaitanya, he came and he also brought Lord Nityananda and he told him that we came to preach to those four kinds of people who ordinarily don't get liberation. The foolish who believe in the body. The foolish who believe in the body. Think they're the body. Think they are their body. The uh, low uh, arm. The uh, petite, the uh, fallen. The low born, the fallen, the petites. The dukkis, the uh, people who are distressed in the material world. And the dukkis, those who are distressed in the material world. Anyone like this? Does anyone know anyone like this? <laughs> A few familiar hands, Kumarash. So, 
was dotted down if you visited the nine islands there, particularly Lake Chaitanya came. So in Navadweep Dam, we visited the nine islands, and there Lord Chaitanya personally came. And uh, his whole past time was for giving out this special mercy to everyone. And his whole pastime was to give out this special mercy to everyone. Radharani, his pleasure potency, was playing on a flute. Shimati Radharani, who is Krishna's pleasure potency, was playing on her on a flute. See, Krishna, he extended himself into two. Krishna, he expanded himself into two. Krishna and Radha. Krishna and Radha. Male personality and female personality. Male personality and female personality. And then, uh, he combined again with her. But then he combined again with her. And he took her heart and her color and her mood. As Lord Chaitanya, he took her color and her heart and her mood. Krishna. And that he produced Lord Chaitanya. Krishna took that and produced Lord Chaitanya. He, he doesn't distinguish that this one is qualified, this one not. He gives out mercy to everybody. And Lord Chaitanya doesn't distinguish this one's qualified, this one's not. He gives out mercy to everybody. Otherwise, in Kali Yuga, we wouldn't have any hope. <laughs> Otherwise, in Kali Yuga, we wouldn't have any hope. And he gave out the mercy of Nittai Gore. Prabhupada came and he gave out the mercy of Nittai Gore. And, uh, so that's such a thing to understand how practicing Bhakti Yoga is so beneficial. So that's a special thing to understand how practicing Bhakti Yoga is so beneficial. But actually, in the Brahma Vairaka Purana, all the ancient scriptures. Actually, in the Brahma Vaivarta Purana, one of the ancient scriptures, like Krishna said that in the uh, age of Kali, the 10,000 year golden age. Krishna said in the age of Kali, there will be a 10,000 year golden age. Which will start 5,000 years after the end of Dharma Yuga. Which will start 5,000 years after the end of Dopara Yuga. And that people at that time, many people will become Krishna conscious, God conscious. And during that golden age, many, many people will become God conscious, Krishna conscious. They would actually uh, enjoy transcendental bliss, ecstasy. They would actually enjoy transcendental bliss, ecstasy. See, the not limit. Ecstasy. See, there's no limit to transcendental ecstasy. Material happiness comes and goes. Material happiness comes and goes. No. And sometimes the same senses that give us pleasure give us distress. And sometimes the same senses that give us pleasure also give us distress. Superficial. They're very superficial. Now, we may, be, we have to, uh, we may experience happiness and distress in the material world. Now, we will experience happiness and distress in this material world. But the happiness, like uh, in the desert, you have a few drops of water. You need uh, gallons and gallons. But it's like happiness in the desert when you get a few drops of water. Really, you need gallons and gallons. So then, uh, and the surge of bliss is like an ocean of bliss. And spiritual bliss is like an ocean of bliss. We want everyone to experience 
is unlimited spiritual happiness. We want everyone to experience this unlimited spiritual happiness. That's possible by these. I practice these nine activities of bhakti yoga. And that's possible by practicing these nine activities of bhakti yoga. Hearing, chanting, remembering. Hearing, chanting, remembering, etc. So, I'm very happy uh, to have visited uh, the nine islands here in Michigan. So, I'm very happy to have visited the nine islands here in Michigan. Think what spiritual name in, in Michigan? I'm trying to think what spiritual name is in Michigan. We say God and Bengali, I mean that means in Sanskrit, that means a song. We say Ghan in Sanskrit or Bengali and that means song. Here I hear you do a lot of Harinam Sankirtan. Here I heard that you do a lot of Harinam Sankirtan. And uh, you did nice Kirtan. And you did nice Kirtan. So, uh, what's it gone? I don't know what which it is. God, Chanting Hare Krishna. We'll figure out what Mish is, but Gun means chanting Hare Krishna. Maybe someone can come up with something that Mish means. I was born in, uh, was in Milwaukee. Gurmaraj, I hear some of the Bengalis saying that Mishti means sweet. Mishti gun. <laughs> Mishti, yeah. Mishti. Mishti gun. Uh, you have sweets for everybody? Do we have sweets for everybody? That was Pruffle's job, Grimrush. I'm very happy to see all the devotees. I'm very happy to see all the devotees. And, uh, I know that Prabhupada, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, he came to the West to deliver a message of Lord Chaitanya. We know that Srila Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta, Swami Srila Prabhupada, came to the West to deliver the message of Lord Chaitanya. So, the Srila Prabhupada life is a very a great offer, uh, uh, we can say, a benefit, an opportunity. So this human form of life is a very great opportunity. To go back to home, back to God. To go back to home, back to Godhead. Our China and the TLDT, the Telegram Land Trail, is a West Wing. We're helping with the Temple of Vedic Planetarium. There is uh, in it a West Wing. Which is the uh, philosophical presentation of the cosmology which is the philosophical presentation of the cosmology. The scandal, or the tongue, how do I keep the Bhagavad all falsely? As presented in the fifth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, as well as Gita, the entire philosophy of Krishna consciousness. In a nutshell, they will understand how Krishna consciousness is our sacred science. It's, prov it's offered in a nutshell so that people can understand how Krishna consciousness is actually a great science. And uh, according to the Bhagavatam, beyond this material world, and according to the Bhagavatam, beyond this material world, uh, which has unlimited millions of universes, which has unlimited millions of universes, Maheshtam, Haridam, and Golokdam. There is Maheshtam, Haridam, and Golokdam. All these are above the material universe. 
And even in the audience here, most people think that only there are living entities on our planet. But as you can see, most people think there's only living entities on our planet, Earth. Maybe they're sending a voyager they sent to reach the next solar system in 10,000 years and tell us radio that whether there's life there or not. They're sending some satellite out 10,000 light years and maybe one day it will come back and let us know whether there's life on it or not. We don't live more than 100 years. <laughs> but we don't live more than 100 years. We can actually find out that there's life on every planet, but they have a different ecology, a different dimension. There's actually life on every planet, but they have a different ecology, a different dimension. Uh, just like in the sun, people have bodies made of fire. Just like on the sun, people have bodies made of fire. And uh, in different planets, they have bodies which are made of things that are really more subtle bodies, which are suited for that particular place. So on different planets, they have bodies which are constructed of things which are subtle and suited to that particular place. I mean, I if you want to find out what's beyond the universe, you're not going to find out by the scientists. If you want to find out what's beyond the universe, you're not going to find out with the scientists. I mean, we're well meaning, but uh, beyond, you're going to find out from the Vedas. The scientists are well meaning, but what's beyond can be found out in the Vedas. So, that way we're trying to show things based on the Suryananda and the Puranas. So in that way we're trying to show things based on the Surya Siddhanta and the Puranas. And uh, what is consciousness, what is life. What is consciousness, what is life. Prabhupada said that life comes from life. Prabhupada said that life comes from life material things and produce life. Not that material energy can produce life on its own. Not that material energy can produce life on its own. Huh? All right. So these are some of the projects we're working on. Anyway. <laughs> These are some of the projects we're working on. Uh, you must be hungry. <laughs> you must be hungry. <laughs> hungry for more Katagam Rush. I went last night until 10.30. I went last night until 10.30. I won't go that far tonight. I'll end here. <laughs> His Holiness Jai Bhattaka Maharaj Ki Cookies Gumraj <laughs> The sweets right on schedule Mishtigan Okay Slow and steady Slow and steady We have more to do Hold on Hold on and have to drink to two, Somebody call him. Come Thank <laughs> you.